welcome back to another video. First of all, I'm really sorry that I wasn't on last week, but I hope you enjoyed the videos that we did send out. Um, so, the last time we did an American and English video, it went down really, really well. So I thought we would do another one, but slightly different. Yeah. Um, so today, we are going to be trying some American candy. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> what is your American accent? Can you oh, do I can't do an American accent. I think, is this an American accent? Am I from America? I'm really sorry if I'm offending anyone, but I'm very British. I've never even been to America. That was good. Was that actually? That was okay, yeah. <laughs> In front of us, we have got a whole big box worth full of American candy. Now, I have never, ever, ever been to America. I don't think I have tried anything that we've bought. Um, have you? Um, I went to New York last year and didn't try any of this. Oh okay. wait, did I try her this Hershey's? No, no. Don't, don't spoil it, don't tell them what we've got yet. Okay. So we've also got ourselves a drink, um, which we chose the flavour of, and we both got a Gatorade. Gatorade. Gatorade? Gatorade. And I got strawberry and watermelon. And one thing I've noticed about these drinks already is, one, the bottles are giant. It is literally the size of my face. And two, it says artificially flavoured. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas like, in the UK, I don't think I've ever seen anywhere that very clearly says artificially flavoured, have you? No. <laughs> like, I think, obviously things are artificially flavoured over here, but like everywhere, on Everything all of them, it's that. so clear, it says artificially flavoured, which is quite funny. Naturally and artificially flavoured. Oh, oh, how hey. does that work? <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to give this a go. Oh, okay, I think the best thing that we've got to do is just lucky dip and go for it. Okay. okay. I actually need a drink, so I'm going to go for my drink first off. I feel like I should shake it, but... I don't know, it just is. It's fizzy, isn't it? It's not, I don't think it's fizzy. I think it's just a fruit juice. I've got strawberry watermelon flavour, which okay. I like watermelon normally. Watermelon's one of my favourites, but. Why should you do that? I'm gonna oh. try. It like popped open. Oh wow, it popped open. I'm gonna try some. Wait, we've gotta try them at the same time. Oh, we're gonna do, okay. We've just gotta try, I, mean, I just want a drink. My first thoughts. Ooh, that stinks. Oh, that is. <laughs> what does that smell like? Some sort of cleaning fluid. It smells like, um. Oh, what does that smell like? What's your smell like? Mine smells like artificial. That's it. Mine just smells artificial. Let's just taste it. Oh! oh. <laughs> why why wow. is that? Um, that should not be a thing. Why was it kind of like fizzy but not fizzy? Is that a lie? Is it, is it meant to be like that? Oh, that's gross. I'm right. gonna taste yours. Oh. I'll taste, taste the mine. So Sam's got the grape flavour. Mine was like. <laughs> it does not taste like taste grapes. Mine. mine was like. I can't even. It just tasted fake. <laughs> they taste the same! Why do they taste the same? No. Um, is this really popular in America? Is this what like people go to? Like, you know how we'll go to, for like a Ribena? Is this like their equivalent <laughs> of Ribena? Oh, I hope Wait, not. can you get Ribena in the US? Don't know. If you're from the US, can you get Ribena? Because if not, you are really missing out. Oh, yeah, Ribena's so good. It just tastes like, it just tastes fake, doesn't it? It yeah. just, it, they taste the same to me and they're different flavours, so that's weird. Okay, Sam, what are we going to go for? We've got a lucky dip it. Oh, Mike and Ike. Mike and Ike. Have you noticed how they're in like, they're not in packaging? Like in the UK, you would get it in a bag in the box. Oh, yeah, this isn't. That's just in the box. What are they? Who knows? It says original fruits. I'm pretty sure this isn't oh, fruit. That drink is really bad. Oh, original yeah. fruits. This is loose in the bag. Is it like jelly beans? They look like jelly beans. They look, yeah, they just look like jelly beans. What flavour do you want? Just give me a couple. Thanks. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have a red one. 
They just look like jelly beans. Oh, they're squidgy like jelly beans. Right, red okay. is cherry and I've got lemon. Okay. Hmm. Is that right? Just a jelly bean. It was just a jelly bean. I don't have lime, so I like green ones. I'm gonna put my lime back. That's not bad. Could they're you... very strong. Yeah. I could eat those. Mmm. Well, they're very chewy. Mm. I feel like jelly beans aren't this chewy. My turn to choose. I'm gonna go for these. These are called Boston Baked Beans. And I didn't read this when I first got them, but apparently they're just candy coated peanuts. But mm. what does candy mean? Does that mean chocolate or does that mean sweets? Sugar. Can you make peanuts this? Oh, they look like baked beans, that's why. Oh. <laughs> they're not like chocolate, this? they're like red. Wait, let's show you. Can you see that? They're like red. That's really weird. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Oh. Okay, let's taste it. Oh. Oh. It's just a peanut covered in sugar. Mmm. What's up? Oh. 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 That was, um. That was. I like chocolate coated peanuts, but it didn't, oh. it was just. Sugar. It wasn't chocolate. No. Right, okay, next we are going for gummy donuts. Gummy donuts. Because they sound fun. I think these might be like the peach rings that you get in like Lidl. Oh, 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 that is a gross texture. I want a bloody one. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> you should not have smelt it. It smells like candy floss. Yeah, yours does. Cheers. What's yours smell like? Yeah, candy floss. Like the candy floss jelly beans that you get here. Okay, right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, oh it's the, so bad! The worst texture! Mm. I almost want some of the Gatorade, get rid of it. <laughs> Wait, what flavours were they? Oh, that was so bad. I can't even, can't even explain it. It doesn't say. Again, it literally just tasted. Oh. I don't even know what that taste is. It's just like fake sugar. <laughs> I'm gonna try another gummy sweet. I'm gonna try these things that are. Where's the other one? We got four. These are called um, Sea Creatures by the brand E Fruity. So you can have, you can, yeah, you can have a. It just looks like a gummy, a gummy, a gummy sweet. You can have a crab. Yeah. Or a seahorse. Seahorse or a octopus. Is that an octopus or a squid? squid. So what's the difference? Um, <clears throat> don't know. What would you like? Um, I'll go for the blue one. I'm gonna go for the pink one. Right, I'm assuming blue means bubblegum flavour. Or oh, raspberry. Blue raspberry's the thing. Yeah. Oh, nice. This um. It'll be the same as the last one. Oh, can you see that? It doesn't... Oh, no, 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 these smell, these smell like the peach rings that you get in Aldi. Lidl, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna take a bit of its core off. Oh! <laughs> like, in a box of Haribo, the ones with the white bit on, I really don't like the texture of them, and that is basically just a solid bit of white bit. Mm. Mm. I don't like that. It doesn't really have a taste. No. It just kind of tastes of sugar. Yeah. Right, so we're going for chocolate this time. We're going for Whoppers. A Whoppers. A Whopper. It says they are original malted milk balls. Oh, so they're just Maltesers. Well, in this country, malted milk is a biscuit. So, are you still bring that? Let me open it. I will open this. I think these are just going to be Maltesers. I think we'll like these. Oh. Haha. <laughs> oh. Do that. Oh, they're like, they smell like dark chocolate, like cocoa Ooh. powder. Here you go. It looks like a Maltese, a Maltese. Are, but it smells like cocoa powder. Yeah, yeah that's quite strong. Cheers. <laughs> you ready? Get it off the floor. Oh. Mm. It's like a Maltese but biscuit, not honeycomb. Oh, wait, mm. what's in a Maltese? It's like biscuit. Okay. It's really hard. Maltesers are really light. I'm gonna finish that later. I'm not gonna 
goes fine on all, all honesty. The chocolate's quite strong. Best thing so far. Do you think so? Mm. No, the Mike and Ike's are the best thing so far, I like them. Okay, this is, we're gonna go for this next, Jolly Ranchers. Now, I have had the Jolly Rancher, the hard ones. Right. I think they're the hard ones, but these are soft and they are two flavors. So Ooh. they are like cherry and orange or watermelon and green apple. Okay. And they're like squishy. They're called bites. I'm presuming they're not in the shape of fruit, but. Oh, they're cool. Oh, oh again, it just smells so strong. <laughs> okay, you can have a. I want the green one. I want the green one. Okay, I'll have the orange one. Okay. They've got like sugary pieces on them. They look like just a, a strawberry pencil that's been filled, but a different colour. You ready? I really don't want to eat this. Come on. Three, okay. two, one. Hmm. Okay. They're actually quite nice. I'm surprised. Oh. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. No, that's not good. No. Oh. It does change flavour. I thought there'd be like two flavours at once, but it's not. It is one flavour and then... I quite like them. And you can keep them. And they're not sour. They smell disgusting, but I quite like them. <laughs> We're gonna try... The airhead. There's another one here too. Oh, okay. A cherry and an orange one. I, I don't think like cherry, so you can have that. These, these feel like, and the packaging is like a refresher. Oh yeah. Like... Oh wow, why, why is everything so bright? It's like fluorescent, you could you could wear that and that gives you power. You could wear this. wear a high-vis jacket, yeah. you get in anywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah. You could wear these to the light party. Because this would break you up, yeah. Okay, you ready? I think it's just right. a refresher. Yeah, it is. We are. It's got like an inside though. Oh, it doesn't taste good. It's not bad. It is just a refresher, but a different flavour, and it doesn't have any of the fizzy stuff on the inside, so that's not bad actually. I think we're gonna go for the red vines. Now, red vines are normally red, but these were the only one they had. So this is like a grape flavour. And I've seen that these are like in TV shows, aren't they? Yeah. Like people seem to love these, but I have a feeling. I have a I have a feeling it might be licorice. Oh no. <laughs> but like great flavoured licorice, so it might not be. Just have to taste it. Oh they stink. It smells like the grape juice. Doesn't it? It does. Oh there. Oh! <laughs> I thought it would be solid. I'm gonna just eat a bite of one. They are Ah. They they smell like the grape juice. I don't taste of it. Oh. They have get, no taste. Wait, they get flush. Yeah. Goodbye. <clears throat> oh. It doesn't really taste, it doesn't taste of grape. It doesn't really taste anything, it just tastes. Yeah. Gross. I choose something that looks better. That looks nice, like a candy bar, but it's got chocolate on it. You go, family. You go, because I'm a out. <laughs> oh, do you reckon it's caramel because of the yellow bit? Oh, wow, the giant spit squares. Oh, yeah, come on, Cadbury, step your game up. It smells weird. It smells like chocolate you would get. That is. It smells like cheap chocolate. Like a, a 30p bar of Sainsbury's chocolate. No, no, like an advent calendar chocolate. Ready? Uh -huh. Oh, I can't wait for that. Oh. Hmm. It's a bit nutty. Mm. Okay. It's not bad. I can live on but this. But I'd like to sit to dairy milk. Mm. For sure. Mm -hmm. We've just had chocolate, so I'm going to go for these things. Now, these are called Nick Nickel Nip. Basically, mm -hmm. you have to bite off the top, drink out the liquid, and then you can chew the bottom. How do you bite off the top? Oh, look, it is actually moving. It's <laughs> a sour. Oh, that is gross. <laughs> okay. Oh my 
That is the worst thing I've... That's the worst thing here. <laughs> okay, let me have a try. Oh. Cowtails strawberry <laughs> smoothie. <laughs> what the? I feel like I thought when I saw it it was gonna be like a flop. No, but it's hard. But it's not. Now I've picked it up, it is hard, and now I really want oh. Oh, it's just a strawberry pencil, but with like marshmallow on the inside. Let me swipe it first. Yeah. Again, it smells very artificial. Oh! It's not bad. No. It's not bad. It's quite boring. I'm gonna go for these next. Chewy lemon heads. They look like the things from Kangaroo Jack. That's a good movie. Oh, they're pretty hot. They're different flavour. They're meant to be chewy, though. Okay, I'm gonna go for, I've got a strawberry one, I think. Oh, maybe I've got watermelon. Oh, they're not all the same. No. They all look the same colours though, so I don't know. No. I no. think that's fine. I've not. No. No. That tasted like chemicals. <laughs> oh, I can still taste it. No, I think that's fine. I don't see a problem with that. Hmm. They're alright. Okay. Final item, which is a Hershey's sprinkles and cream. And we'll save this till last because it looks so good. I've had Hershey's before, I've had cookies and cream, and I've had the, just the milk chocolate, and I found I wasn't that, I wasn't like a big fan of milk chocolate, but the cookies and cream was really nice. So I'm expecting this to be nice. This is like birthday cake Hershey's, isn't it? Isn't that what they call it? Something like that. Okay. Oh wow, it's got actual sprinkles in it, that is cool. I've never seen chocolate with actual sprinkles in it. You ready? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Disappointing, but not the worst. It's really gross. It smells some last ones. It just. Oh, oh no. <laughs> mm. Oh, no. 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 That's revolting. That was like... Oh, I guess I'm in my mouth. That was like your typical standard flavoured of icing with sprinkles in it. Yeah, that was literally just like Betty Crocker icing with sprinkles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Solid bar. So, what is your favourite thing out of everything we've tried? Yoohoo, because it was the most normal tasting <laughs> piece of chocolate. I'll stay food here. I think my favourites were the... Oh, let me hold them so they don't fall out. I think my favourites were the Mike and Ike. I really like them. They were just like jelly beans, but I don't know what flavour the rest of it tastes like. I think these are my favourite. Okay, what was your least favourite? Well, what had the worst reaction? Um, I think my, my least favourite were <laughs> the Nick... The Nicholas. Nick... <laughs> Oh, nips. <laughs> that. I think I think mine were the grape red vines. They were really not great. Yeah, some things just tasted worse the longer it was in your mouth. Yeah, I had a, I had much higher expectations. I've got to admit. Yes. Much higher. I was hoping that was going to taste good, but well, not a lot did. I'm gonna go brush my teeth. Yeah, good idea. Okay. I have to admit, I was ex I had much higher expectations than I should have done. <laughs> I do not think that was the nicest video we've ever done. So in the Bible, there is a book called Psalms, and in that book, in chapter 34, um, there is a verse which I want to talk about. This verse is, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. And it's verse eight of book of chapter 34. Now, this doesn't mean that somewhere out there, there is a God-flavoured lollipop. 
Although I think if there was, it'd be the nicest thing we'd ever tasted. But as far as I'm aware, there are no God flavored lollipops out there. Now, I am sure that you've all heard that God is good. You've heard that phrase, you say God is good, and then other people say all the time, and you say all the time, God is good. And that's very true. But actually, sometimes we can look at the world around us and everything that's going on. And if we weren't a Christian, and a lot of non-Christians can look at the world and think, how can God be good when there's so much bad stuff happening in the world? If he knows what is to come and what, what's about to happen, how can he let that happen if he is a good God? Like Sam and I just showed you, to know, to know if something is good or not, you have to taste it. You have to try it out. We had to try all of these different sweets to know whether they were good or whether they were not good. This Bible verse is effectively telling us to do the same thing. We have to try them out and taste them to know whether he's good or not. But as I said earlier, we can't buy a lollipop that is flavoured of God. <laughs> there is no such thing. So how do we test, how do we try him out? How do we taste him? Well, we worship him, we pray to him, we try to make a relationship with him. There's a story in the Bible. You may have heard of it actually, it's called the prodigal son. A man's son decides to take his inheritance early and leave home. He leaves his father and his siblings behind and he goes off to spend his money and live the life that he thinks he wants. It was going great, it was amazing, but then he ran out of money and he had nowhere to turn. So he ended up living with the pigs and feeding them. He was so hungry that even the pig's food looked delicious to him. Now I don't know if you know, but pigs tend to eat scraps. They tend to eat all the vegetable peelings and all the stuff that we don't want. And he was wanting to eat that because he was that desperate. Anyway, he decided that his old life with his family was so much better before he moved away. And so he decided to go home. He said, my dad treats people so well, I know that if I go home and even if I'm a servant, even if I'm not good enough to be his son, it will be a better life than feeding the pigs. As he came home, his dad was waiting for him with open arms. His dad ran out to him. He didn't just, he didn't just wait there with arms crossed, so where have you been? He ran out to him and opened his arms and engulfed him in a hug. I think this story is a really great example of God. We can wander away and we can try and live our own life without God because that's what we think is good for us. But as, but as we've learned in the story, without our heavenly father, without, without, if the son didn't have his, when the son didn't have his father, if we don't have God, then our life is not going to be as good as it could be. Just like the prodigal son, we need to experience what life is like with God to know that he is good, to know that it is worth spending our whole life with him. If the prodigal son had never done that, if he just, if he was always with the pigs, if that was his life from the very beginning, he would have not have known that it, that was what he was good for him. He would have stayed there thinking that the best that he could have got for his life is to be in amongst the pigs. And it's the same with us. If we've never experienced God, we're not going to know how good our lives can get and with him and how good he is to us. We need to get to know God and to get to know his goodness fully. Without getting to know him, our lives are going to, not even going to be half as good as they can be. We need to taste and see that the Lord is good. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you that you are always there waiting for us with open arms. Lord, I pray is that as we may wander or as we may walk away for a little bit, we pray that you will always be welcoming us back and we thank you for your grace. Father, we pray that you help us to have a relationship with you so we can truly see how good you are. And we pray for those around us that don't yet know you. Lord, we pray that they see that we, we, we think you're so good and that they want to experience that and taste that for themselves. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. We will see you later with another video. Bye.